Hello, and welcome to If ETD Data Falls in a Generalist Repository, Does It Make a Fair Sound? My name is Andrew McKenna Foster. I'm a product specialist at Figshare, and happy to be presenting this poster at the US ETDA uh, conference 2022. So we're looking at a zoomed out uh, image of the poster. I'm gonna zoom in and go through each section here. But as an introduction, uh, we conducted this study because we were interested in how graduate students are sharing data and other research outputs related to ETDs. It's especially important that researchers in all disciplines understand how to share research outputs in a fair way, findable, accessible, interoperable, and reusable. Publisher mandates and policies, funder mandates and policies are expanding. Um, we just saw that with the Office of Science and Technology policy memo that came out recently. And so graduate students who are just starting their careers uh, can benefit from sharing research outputs associated with their thesis and dissertation. It's good practice. It is something that can be cited and it proves, it gives them credibility uh, as they begin their careers. So we set out to assess metadata for objects that have been shared uh, in relation to an electronic thesis or dissertation. And we were looking specifically at metadata for objects in the Figshare repository universe. So individual researchers can use figshare.com. They can have a free account and share outputs there. Publishers, government funding, government and funder agencies, uh, institutions like universities can license Figshare and have their own repositories. All of these uh, repositories are um, searchable through a, a federated search interface and the API. So we collected records um, for data sets, figures, and media where the metadata contained the words thesis or dissertation. We collected a thousand records uh, searching for each of those outputs, um, output types, and we ended up with 2,606 records. We cleaned them to match, to make sure that they were part of an ETD as best we could tell. And then we assessed them for fairness. And we were looking at things that the platform doesn't do automatically. So Figshare will automatically provide a persistent identifier. Uh, it'll provide a license or it'll give you the option to apply a license. It's a standard metadata schema. So those are all checking boxes for fairness. But what it doesn't do is it doesn't know what the research is about. Uh, and so it you know, relies on the user to enter that information. So we were looking at findability, specifically uh, are the files described with rich metadata? Interoperability, are there lots of references or some references to related objects, especially the thesis or dissertation? And uh, are the is the metadata reusable um, making the files reusable by richly describing the research. And we had proxy measures um, to assess these. So we looked at the length and, of the title and description for metadata richness. We looked at the number of keywords and categories uh, that's specifically related to findability. And then we looked at the number of reference links in the metadata. So that's uh, for interoperability. Our records came from figshare.com, and we assumed those were shared directly by students. And we also had records shared through institutional repositories from universities. And we assumed those had some assistance from curators. So we were actually able to compare the fairness of um, each set of records. Here's what the records looked like. I'll just briefly point out that, you know, on the left is a data set. Don't worry about reading the tiny text from a university, University of Sheffield. On the right, in the upper right, is a media uh, record for a video. And in the lower right is an image, um, what the picture refers to as figures. And you can view all of these through the QR codes for them. Um, and the metadata is down below. Um, the red text that you see 
in two of the images is, is one of the links to a related record, perhaps the thesis. So here are some results. These are box and whisker plots showing the counts of words in the title and description, counts of categories and keywords, counts of references, and the views per month of the records. The left boxes are for institutional related records. Um, the right boxes, the darker color, are those shared directly on figshare.com, we assume by the students directly. The asterisks indicate significant differences. And you can see that records associated with institutional repositories have longer titles, have longer descriptions, more keywords, more references. Uh, there was no difference in the number of categories between the different record types. And records in institutional repositories had more views per month. Whether that's related to the, the richer metadata, uh, we don't know. Could be just because the repository is related to a, um, a website that has a lot of traffic already, the, the, the university's website. The records were uh, mainly published in the last three years uh, for both picture.com and institutional repository records. But there were many more uh, records from uh, past years on figture.com. And the FAIR principles were published in 2016. So, you know, these records could be a reason that, that the figure.com numbers are lower. However, if you look over time at those um, uh, measures that we looked at, there is no real pattern. So in this lower um, image, the four charts of length of title, description, and keywords and references, you can see there's no um, obvious patterns. Uh, institutional records have seemingly always had more references and seem to have longer titles in the recent years. Um, but the figure.com records uh, aren't necessarily going up or necessarily going down. Perhaps in a couple of years, if we redid this analysis, we'd see hopefully an upward trajectory for both. So our conclusions are that ETD related data and other uh, outputs shared in institutional repositories are fairer than those shared directly by students in a generalist repository. Um, and then they seem to have higher views per month. So that's a benefit to students. There doesn't seem to be an increase in the metadata richness or inter interoperability over time for student shared records. There are a lot of trainings out there, workshops. Um, increasingly, you know, student mentors have data sharing skills. Um, and perhaps it's still too early to see the effects of those programs um, and workshops uh, in published metadata. Figshare has been able to use this information to um, produce some uh, materials and plan materials that might help students in the future. Uh, so, you know, we look at descriptive uh, or fair metadata as having um, descriptive titles, a background and methods in the description, five or more keywords, and of course, reference links. And so uh, we do have a new user interface coming uh, in development that may help here. Um, it may be easier for students to use. It may affect this. Um, so we'll have to account for that in the future if we redo this analysis. We have launched a help page to help students uh, and curators um, fill out metadata related to their thesis or dissertation. And we are planning webinars um, for both students and curators around this as well and incorporating some of this information. The data is available. Uh, at this figure record. And please be in touch if you have any questions um, about this and, and want to talk about ETD data. Thank you for viewing this presentation.